Hello everyone. Welcome to Storytime with Bree. I'm reading Maple Syrup from the Sugar House by Lori Lazaro Knowlton. Pictures by Katherine Mitter. Maple tree slumber while the winter winds whistle and whirl until Kelsey feels the sun pushing the cold aside and sees the snow melting. Drip drop dripping and the ground below thaws is the weather right for a sap run kelsey asks daddy nods freezing nights and warmer days kelsey follows daddy trudging out to the woods filled with sugar maple trees daddy says since last year's harvest the maple trees have grown and stored summer's sugar through the chilly fall and icy winter that stored sugar is now ready to be collected. Daddy stops at a maple tree. Where is last year's hole? Kelsey asks. It's healed over, like the scrape on your knee. Daddy drills a pencil-sized hole into the giant sugar maple tree. Kelsey hammers a metal spile into the hole with a tap, tap, tap. Then she hangs the first metal bucket. Sap droplets drip, ting, ting-a-ling, a-ling. We need to keep moving, Daddy says. We've got a whole sugar bush to tap. All day, the trees drink up moisture through their roots from the freshly thawed dirt. All day, the sugar-rich drops of sap drip, drop, drop, drip out of the spiles and into the buckets. All day and into the next day, the sugar bush camp grows. Mama welcomes grandparents, aunties, uncles, cousins, and friends who bring food-filled coolers and helping hands. While Kelsey waits for the sap to fill the buckets, she helps sterilize bottles and stack wood by the firebox and then plays tag with her cousins, Farah and Gwen. Until... Daddy, the buckets are full, Kelsey announces. Throughout the sugar bush, everyone works together. Some gather the filled buckets, while others lift the buckets and pour the sap into the storage tank on the back of the tractor. Kelsey leads Farah and Gwen to return the empty buckets back to the maple tree's spiles. Then everyone moves to the next section of trees. Until... Hours later, the buckets have been emptied and the holding tank is full. Kelsey hears the tank's sap, splish, splash, sloshing all the way to the sugar house. There, Daddy starts the pump to suction the sap through a filter into a large holding tank. Gravity pulls the sap down through a pipe to a long, flat warming pan. Below the pan, Flames from the firebox heat the chilly, colorless sap, sending it swirling into the evaporator. How long before it boils? Kelsey asks. Soon, Daddy says. Kelsey watches the maple steam roll, rising to the roof vent, then out to the night sky. Look, Daddy, the sap's rumbling, bubbling, boiling. The water in the sap is evaporating. Raising the sugar content, Daddy smiles. Kelsey passes wood to Daddy to refill the stove, keeping the fire white hot. Mama passes out hot cocoa, and everyone tells stories to pass the time. More sap is added, gallon after gallon after gallon. Little by little, the sap changes from clear to golden amber. Daddy takes a spoon and places a drop of sap from the steaming evaporator pan onto his sugar gauge. He checks to see if enough water has evaporated to leave maple syrup. Everyone waits, but Daddy shakes his head. We need to keep boiling. An hour later, Daddy tests the sap again. We're getting closer. The rumbling of the boiling sap is the only sound now. 
everyone snuggles in sleeping bags, and the adults take turns helping Daddy keep the fire hot. Until Daddy tries again. It's maple syrup. Time to pour. Daddy opens the pour valve on the end of the evaporator. The sap flows down through a filter into the canning pan. Everyone jumps into action, filling bottles, twisting caps, line them up. Yay! Until the first run of maple syrup is bottled and cooling. Kelsey and Daddy sit down with family and friends to enjoy a breakfast feast of pancakes, sausage, biscuits, coffee, and ice cream, all smothered in liquid gold maple syrup. Kelsey snuggles up with a blanket while the morning birds chirp. She dreams about the sleeping maple trees awakening, singing their ting-a-ling drip-drop song until the buckets fill again. I hope you enjoyed Maple Syrup from the Sugar House by Lori Lazaro Knowlton. Be sure to like and subscribe for more stories in Storytime with Bree, and I'll read to you soon.